Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you again for joining me. I'm always playing on my ball. Question. How many of you people are aware of your core values? You probably then ask me a question. What are your core values? Those are things that you will stand for and those things you will not stand for. Another term you may use would be your terms and your standards. So that my, my terms are where I draw the line for myself. In other words, if I cross that line, I wouldn't be impressed. An example would be one of my terms is I have a 95 5% rule eating organic food and I prepare my own foods. So let's say I change that percentage and let's say I went to, I don't know, 80 20, where 80% of the time I'm eating organic food, but 20% of the time I was eating dead, dysfunctional, denatured, crap, sad crap food, then that's going against my core values. And it would add stress to my psyche, it would add stress to my physical body. Not a genius formula. My standards are where I draw the line for others. In other words, if somebody has not been a good role model for children and, I'm ob and I observe that, I then ask myself a question, what would love doing that situation or how could I be of greater service individual? And I'm, the chances are I may say something or certainly challenge what they're doing. Again, depending, it might be that they're really laying into their children or, their, or a child or you know, berating them or chastising them. Whatever it is, I'm very clear as to where those lines are. Here's the challenge when we're not aware of them. In other words, your core values could be set to do with your living conditions. It could be to do with your income. It could be to do with your sleep patterns when you get up, when you go to bed. Obviously your diet, I've just mentioned. It could be to do with your social life, your working hours, your playtime, your exercise schedule. Any of those things you can set standards or terms to. The main thing is what's important to you and what are you prepared to become aware of? Because remember, without awareness, there's not a lot you can do. And I found that once I'm aware of what my core values are, those things that I will stand for and those things that I won't, that's more empowering for me to take control of myself and, and literally to become that change that I want to see in this world. So the invite in this recording is for you to become aware as to what your core values are under those headings that I mentioned. And you may, of course, find your own headings. What you will find is that if you work for an organization, let's just label it as Coca-Cola, and let's say you got the information and realize that you are killing your consumer base through you know, a class A or a class one drug called sugar or aspartame, which is just as bad, then here you are chasing your paycheck, making the money that you are to feed yourself and your family, but it doesn't kind of resonate with you because of the knowledge you've got. That will stress the crap out of you. Unless, of course, you're unconscious, you're not aware of it. And so obviously then the invite would be to find something else that you could direct your passion and energies into. Or you perhaps may work for a drugs organisation or some organisation that you realise is not serving Mother Nature. In other words, they might be polluting the air, polluting the lands, or even just killing people, like our government. Whatever it is, if you work for them and you suddenly realise that actually it goes against your core values, but you weren't aware of it before, but you are now, brilliant! Now you can do something about it, exactly on time when you're ready to. So my invite is to find out what your core values are, those things that are important to you, those things that you will stand for and those things that you will not stand for and find any heading that you want. Diet is obviously a big one for me, who I hang out with and things like that. So what are yours and do they serve you and those around you? Over to you. Enjoy. I love to you all. Bye for now.